Hi, it's Chris Fletcher, and this is MusicBizMentors.com. We are going to do a Fort Par series to talk about how to jumpstart your career in 2022. In this first part, we're talking about four essential items you should be looking at before you make your plans for 2022. Okay, number one, writing the songs. We know it all starts with the music, so let's talk about those songs. Get a list of those are recorded already and you want to put out this year. And then go back and make another list of those you're working on and want to put out this year. Three or four of those songs should have the less production to it because you want to get them out this year. And then choose one song that has full production so we can work on that for the next couple months and we can take time and make sure our budget is in line to do those kind of things. Because we want to release songs within the next three to six months and that will lead us until the fall. Get creative with your ideas for your songs for the videos, because we remember, with every single song, we need a graphic and we need a video. Number two, let's rehearse all the songs before we actually go into the studio. If you're doing on your own, that's okay too, but instead of taking a lot of time trying to figure that out, rehearsals are going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Think about the extra vocals you might need, rehearsals you need for that, maybe thinking about solo spots. Think about all the production that you need to get rehearsed so you can go in the studio or record it yourself and get it done in a short amount of time. Remember, time is money in the studios. If you are thinking about going out and performing live, we have to rehearse for those things too, but the songs that you may be rehearsing live may not be exactly the same production that you want to have in the studio. So that's why I feel rehearsals are very important. Number three is recording. What type of recording do you need and what is your budget for that? Remember, all of this is going to cost you time and money. So we need to make sure that we have enough money to actually do the recordings that we want. That's why I told you to pick a couple that didn't need all the bells and whistles so you can later on gather your money and do the other full production. Can you do it yourself? Great. I'm all for that. If you're doing it for TV and film, though, you're going to have to have it mixed and masters and probably will have to have a studio recording. If you don't know how to record it yourself, try a recording school. They're all over the place. And the people who are learning how to do the engineering and the producing need to do projects in their schools. So contact a school and see if maybe you can be their project. Need more help? You should look at Sound Better or Upwork. That's where a lot of people are finding people online to help them with their production. And someone recently told me about an organization called Museversal, where you can, for a small amount of money, less than $500, do full production on your songs, be a part of the recording session through Zoom. So check it out. Maybe something you want to look at. Number four. Be proud of your music. Let someone you admire listen to the track and then give you some suggestions. Sometimes you're just a little too close to hear the little things that may make your production better. And then maybe even giving it to five, ten special fans. Tell them it's a pre-release. Ask them not to put it out yet and ask them if they like it and ask them if they would share it the week that it comes out. And then something I'm doing with one of my artists this year is we're considering a fan favorite. A song that you've been singing around but has not been recorded and so we already have it recorded and we have a video and so we're going to start with that and that will just give you the notice you need to get started for the new year if you still need some help you can always contact us at musicbizmentors.com we have individual training and they also have some group coaching hope some of that helps you today and we will go to part two where we talk about the basic business things that you can do while you're recording your music.